And with the uptick in cases, there is a new opportunity for Vermonters to quarantine outside of the home. Local 22's Jolie Sherman has more. We, we've been providing quarantine and isolation facilities for the state of Vermont since the pandemic started. And the Champlain Housing Trust will provide their third property in six weeks, the Ho-Hum Motel. Not acting as a typical motel. Uh, we put people up for the day or for the week, and, but it's still not acting as a typical hotel, motel. We're, we don't charge anybody directly. The state of Vermont is paying people's um, rooms. Chief Operating Officer Michael Monti says they've supported 160 households so far, and he expects that number to go up. Deputy Commissioner Tracy Dolan with the Department of Health says spaces like these are beneficial. Well, we've actually found that in some cases, if somebody has to go somewhere else to quarantine, um, and we found that with some students actually, when, when asked to quarantine in your regular environment, it was more difficult, but going to a different place that's uniquely set up for that can be helpful. The new quarantine space comes as cases continue to rise, and quickly too. It tells us that Vermont is not immune. I mean, we were doing very well, um, but the virus is here. It's just as transmissible as it ever was. So it tells us that we really have to double down on our efforts. We have to think more like we were thinking in April. Monty says those interested in quarantining must go through the Agency of Human Services and meet the criteria. Currently, the motel is serving up to 16 rooms and will eventually accommodate 34. Vermont has made a, um, an amazing effort, a, a really a startling effort compared to the rest of the country in terms of making sure that its most vulnerable population is uh, taken care of, served, saved uh, during this very crazy time, but nevertheless uh, on the mark in terms of its uh, work and their work. Jolie Sherman, Local 22 News, Burlington.